So the footage you're looking at is an example of the legendary campaign where I'm locked in at 15 below power level. This is close to raid contest mode level. As you can see, I can constantly go invisible with the longer 8 second invisible and kill and suppress targets easily. You'll also see I'm not dying. I'm not taking as much damage. I'm able to stay alive. How am I doing this? Because to be honest with you, with new content, especially the raid coming out and eventually GMs, this is going to be a game breaking build for hunters. Let me show you next. First off, let's go over the aspects and seasonal mods that make this work. So this will probably work for any season within Witch Queen and going forward, but it's especially going to be useful within Season 16 with the seasonal mods that are available. On the seasonal mod track, you can get Suppressive Glaive. This allows you to suppress an enemy when you do damage with the Glaive. That's not killing an enemy, that's just damaging it. So you just take the Glaive, hit an enemy, and it's suppressed. The suppression prevents them from using abilities for a short period of time and disorients them. This is a class item mod. Add to this Suppression Mastery, which is another class item mod, which basically extends the duration of your suppressions. So again, add those together, and you'll that's the basis for this build. Once suppressed, then Stylus Executioner comes in play. With Stylus Executioner, when you defeat a weakened, suppressed, or volatile target, you gain Invisible, that lasts 8 seconds, and you get True Sight. After you get this, your next melee weakens targets in addition. So let's say you jump into a group of adds. You can take one out quickly, which will allow you to go invisible, and will give you true sight. Then you take on a larger major or boss and suppress them. If at any time you get into trouble, take out another small add to go invisible, regen your health, and go back again. Again, during the legendary campaign and replays I've done, this has allowed it to be to basically be easy mode. And again, since a legendary campaign, or at least the, the one you're looking at here, is 15 light levels below, that is pretty close to the light levels you're going to be looking at when you're looking at first day raids, which are 20 below. And again, since I'm 15 levels below, I do less damage to enemies and I take more damage from enemies. And I was able to do an incredible amount of ad control and more importantly, not die, which is critical for end game activities like GMs and raids because those have revive tokens that you can run out of, so not dying is very, very important. Now add to this my Glaive, which I've customized, which helps this build. My upgraded Glaive has enhanced threat detector, which means that when I'm near enemies, I can get increased reload stability and handling. This really helps if you're in a large group of adds, so your attacks get faster and they get more accurate. I also have enhanced unrelenting. Now this sounds like a trash perk, but not in this case. When I rapidly defeat targets, I trigger health gen. Powerful opponents count as more than one target. So if I take a major down, for instance, and it's beating me up a bit, I can instantly get my health regen back. Essentially, you can use either my Orpheus Rig Ultimate build from this, this video here, or any of the exotics I laid out in the Hunter Exotic Void 3.0 in this video to completely stay alive and clear enemies and even majors and bosses, which will help you in those endgame PvE activities you're trying to compete in. I can see this especially helping in encounters as we get into raid season, and this will be key to add clear, but also allow you to suppress a tanky major or boss as your fire team lays down with DPS. Add your tether for debuff potential, or Mobius Quiver to do DPS of your own, and you can see how this allows Void Hunters to become viable options in endgame content. Obviously, this is really exciting because going into the season, it felt like Hunters were going to be nerfed. I, again, I talked about that earlier a couple weeks ago, but it looks like they're definitely going to be viable and things that you can use in pretty much any content with the right mods and the right aspects and fragments. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.